Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at how to determine whether a collision is elastic or inelastic. So let's get started. It says here that to determine whether a collision is elastic or inelastic, we must calculate the total kinetic energy of the objects before the collision and compare this with the total kinetic energy of the objects after the collision. Now you should already know the equation for kinetic energy from National 5 Physics, which is Ek equals a half mv squared, where m is the mass of our object and v is its velocity. And we can use a variation of this since we have two objects. So we're going to introduce the subscripts of 1 and 2. And it says here that the total kinetic energy before a collision is given as Ek equals a half m1 u1 squared plus a half m2 u2 squared. Where m1 and m2 are the masses of our objects 1 and 2 respectively. And u1 and u2 are the initial velocities of our objects 1 and 2 respectively. The total kinetic energy after the collision, however, is given by Ek equals a half m1 v1 squared plus a half m2 v2 squared. So notice a slight variation because now we're using the masses m1 and m2 of objects 1 and 2 respectively as before, but this time we're using v1 and v2, which are the final velocities of objects 1 and 2 respectively. It then says that if the total kinetic energy before the collision is equal to the total kinetic energy after the collision or thereabouts, then the collision is said to be elastic. If some kinetic energy has been lost, however, then the collision is said to be inelastic. So if we do the two calculations of kinetic energy before and after the collision, if we find that the two values are the same, then it's an elastic collision. But if the two values are not the same and there's obviously been a lot of kinetic energy lost, then it's going to be an inelastic collision. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.